Hello and welcome back to the top 85 games for the BBC Micro video countdown. In at number 56 is a game called Smash and Grab. Uh, this was released by Superior Software in 1984 and it was developed by a chap called Walter Mansell. Uh, the game was also later featured uh, on a re-release under the very first of the Superior Collections, Superior Collection 1. Uh, and basically the aim of the game is to uh, help your burglar or robber uh, collect as many bags of gold as he can uh, without getting um, waylaid by the policeman uh, and avoiding some other obstacles along the way. Uh, it does seem like Walter Mansell had quite a penchant for uh, playing the uh, sort of role of uh, a, a ne'er-do-well or a criminal. Uh, he released a couple of other games, uh, Firebug for example, where uh, you are an arsonist and you have to avoid a fireman. Um, similar sort of game to Smash and Grab in fact. Uh, but anyway, we're going to be looking at Smash and Grab in uh, this video. So let's take a look. Okay, here we are. Smash and grab. So as it says, uh, your character is a robber. You've got to collect the bags of gold. Um, and uh, oh, yeah, there is an extra feature which we shall we shall investigate in the game. Uh, that if you kick a police box when um, when it's lit up, uh, it enables you to uh, actually take on the uh, policeman. Which is a helpful, a helpful little feature there. So no jump in this game. You can only kick, uh, but it's standard sort of beep controls. And there's our character there. Uh, he's got his sort of typical burglar-looking thing. Oh, we've got some cones here. Let's dispense with those. Now you have to be, uh, you have to really get hold of those bags before they hit the bottom. Right, I'm going to kick that. Now I can dispense with the policeman, which is helpful. Uh, it also pauses the uh, the gold bar. Ah, oh dear, that was a <laughs> that was a bad decision on my part there. Uh, yes, yeah, so you have to try and get those uh, those bags of gold before. There we are. Let's let's hopefully that will. There we go. Get rid of the policeman. Uh, you have to try and get them before they hit the bottom of the screen, which is in fact. Um, a river, if that wasn't already clear, um, because uh, if you do uh, if you do let the bags fall into the river, you'll notice now that we've got an alarm above the bank, uh, and if you get three alarms, it's uh, I think it I think it's three, uh, might be more than three actually, it's game over, uh, or at least you lose a life I should say. Uh, now those dustbin lids are pretty pretty nefarious. Okay, must be more than three. Can I get? Oh dear. I Oh, maybe it's five. Now, if you can see that billboard up in the uh, the top left, uh, oh dear, the policeman got me. Um, you can see the pound signs. Um, it's very much a British game. Uh, you can see the pound signs lining up there, and uh, if you, all you need to do is get as many gold bags as it will take to fill up that sign with pound signs. There we are. That's completed the level. Same story. He has an interesting approach to uh, robbing a bank. I have to say, kicking kicking a cone into the uh, into the. Oh dear! Didn't quite time my kick well there. Uh, all right. It's a uh, nice little uh, nice little extra. Oh dear! That was a bit of a waste of a life there. Hmm. Game over. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. All right. I'll put my name in and uh, give that another go. I think. Say in the uh, in the sort of practice runs that I did earlier, um, I found level one to be surprisingly difficult, and uh, level two, by contrast, was uh, not not so bad. Um, although that doesn't seem to be borne out this time round. <laughs> um, yes, and as you can see, those police boxes—they're uh, not always lighting up. So, and and when they do light up, you don't have very. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh dear, I got head stomped by the police there, that's not good. Um, yes, yeah, so you don't get a lot of time, unfortunately, to uh, to, to get to the, the box once it's lit up. Ah. Uh, okay, I'm not sure if I can... Oh, yeah, not doing too badly there. I think I might hang around up here and get those two. Right, I only need one more now. Let's see if we can get one of those that's falling over there. There we are, perfect. All right, now we're back to level two this time. Um, I do like how your lives are actually up in that sort of top corner there, and uh, as they uh, as they deplete, um, you uh, your your next life basically walks into into the screen. I think that's quite a nice little touch there. Um, oh dear, that's my last life though. Not going to do too well here, I don't think. Um, oh dear, it's oh, the cones again. The old policeman, like he has a, he has more capacity than I do. Like he can, he can prod you with his pole there. Oh, there we are. Now I can take him on. Come on. 
You see the traffic light up in the top. Uh, all the while that's red, uh, your superpowers of uh, being able to take on the policeman and the money bags stop stop falling. Um, it lasts for as long as the red the, the light is red. Oh, here we go. One more. Hey. Level three. Don't see badly at all here. Now this level has a nice little uh, little feature where you can go from side to side, sort of like Pac-Man. Um, oh, oh dear, that was a bad choice. Now some of these, ah, I was going to say, some of these platforms are actually conveyor belts. Um, so if you uh, if you wonder why my my robber seems to be taking a bit of time to get across some of them, ah, I didn't quite get it in time there. Oh, oh dear. Dear, what a shame. Well, we've got a better score this time round, so let's try giving that another another try. Yes, yeah, so I think it's uh, you know for a, for a platform game, I think it's quite innovative. Um, I think you know it's got quite a few things going on. Uh, I like the fact that the money bags are not just sort of fixed objects, sort of chucky egg style. Um, you know, you, they actually move in a fairly sort of random way and uh, you know you've really got to get them in time otherwise it's uh, curtains for the robber um, I think the policeman is quite a good adversary because he's he's actually able to do more than you are uh, like he has the ability for example to sort of semi jump up to a platform above him and uh, on top of that he uh, he can he can sort of nab you when he's there we go when he's um, when he's just below or above you, he can stick his truncheon up or down and uh, nab you in that way, which I think is uh, good for him, not so good for us, obviously. Uh, oh, there we are. Let's kick that again. Uh, the kick feature, I think, is quite a nice little one as well as a, as a means of uh, activating some of these bonuses. Oh, dear. Let's try going over this way. Also, he's unaffected by the conveyor belt, which is uh, a little bit cheeky, I think. Um, He's obviously got special footwear, perhaps, that uh, means that he doesn't have any trouble um, with the with that old conveyor. Now, I only need one more money bag, so if I can just get that before the policeman. There we go. I think the uh, the graphics, they're quite chunky, quite chunky graphics, and obviously our, our robber and policeman are quite large sprites, but, uh, you know, nothing, nothing wrong with that. Um, I think the sound effects are fairly well placed. Um, oh dear, that was game over already. Yeah, the sound effects are in, in you know, not they're used sparingly, um, which I think you know is, is good. Um, no, no background music, but you know, like I've said before, that can very quickly become irritating if uh, if it's just the same bit of music over and over again. So I don't think that's such a bad thing. Okay, let's get the policeman. Um, and it's got a good set of obstacles. You know, it's not just the policeman. You've got those uh, those random cones coming along. Um, you've got obviously those, I think they're bin lids up there, which sort of lower themselves onto your head if you're not careful. Um, yeah, and I just think it's, uh, yeah, it's a nice little platformer. Um, and uh, it's 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 got a, it's got a nice theme to it, you know. It's, it makes it, it makes a bit more sense actually than some Beeb games. Um, you know, it's not not like uh, not like Blagger, for example, where I was never entirely sure what was going on in that game. Um, and it's certainly not certainly not in the realms of silliness like uh, Save Your Bacon, for example. Um, though maybe that's more the pity. <laughs> and yes, uh, you know, it's it's got it's got little uh, little sort of ways of succeeding you know like hanging around near the bank um to try and grab those money bags just before they come out or just as they come out i should say oh dear i'm on a conveyor oh. and uh, yeah it's just sufficiently challenging enough i think to be to be enjoyable without being frustrating um perhaps in contrast to uh, platformers like blagger which are I think very difficult and certainly not on the same sort of difficulty level as uh, something like Volcano for example. Um, oh dear! Ooh. I think the only thing I would say is it would help I think a lot if, if, the, if the, your character was able to jump. I do feel that the lack of jump um, does make the game perhaps a little too difficult at times. I think it would be nice to have that facility to be able to jump from platform to platform um, and not, not be sort of restricted from just basically falling <laughs> from platform to platform um especially since the old policeman has the ability to sort of do a little cheeky jump now and again i don't, I don't see why uh, why we should be denied oh dear i've got bin lid <laughs> uh, why we should be denied that ability 
but yes, it's um, definitely worth uh, definitely worth finding uh, this game if you've not played it before. Um, as with almost all, oh dear, <laughs> right on the head. Um, as with almost all of the games um, that I've uh, got in this countdown, you can you can get them from the uh, complete BBC Games archive. Oh dear, missed the time on that. Uh, so yes, do check it out if you've uh, if you've not played this game before, or if it's a game that you uh, perhaps haven't touched for a few years. Um, it's definitely worth uh, definitely worth a play. Um, I remember enjoying this one a lot actually as a as a child. I think I uh, plenty of fun pretending to be a robber. Um, it's a sort of cops and robbers theme, very popular with children. So I think Walter Mansell knew what he was doing when he uh, when he designed this one. Oh dear, that was a bad move. We'll just see how much further we can get on this attempt. See whether we can uh, make it to another level. And yeah, that's actually another thing that's worth pointing out. It's not like one of those games where you complete the level and then it's just basically more of the same. You know, there's uh, there's a bit of a bit of thought has gone into the design of each of the levels. Um, obviously, still around the same sort of theme, um, but yeah, there's uh, different different challenges at work. And I think the bin lids get replaced with some sort of red ball. Uh, Quite sure what the red balls are meant to be actually but uh, yes it does uh, does bring a bit of variety there we go let's got that yeah not quite wasn't quite tall enough there Ooh, am i gonna get the policeman Ooh, here we go <laughs> ah got the policeman but caught by the road cones there we go well, I think we'll leave it there. Gosh, didn't even manage to make it into the uh, high scores there. So I think that's probably uh, a sign that we should probably draw that to a close. So, uh, yes, I hope you've enjoyed Smash and Grab uh, in at number 56 from Superior Software. Thanks to Walter Mansell for putting that one together. And uh, until the next time, uh, enjoy and hopefully you'll tune in for the next video in the series. Goodbye.